Welcome to the first of many bi-weekly news updates for all things Decred presented by me, Exodus. This program was approved by stakeholders in the video content production for Decred proposal on Politea, which recently passed with 92.5% of voters voting yes. So let's get right into it. First up, a video I put together about the Decred decks featuring developer Marco Piraboom that really shows the ethos of Decred's development and wanting to build things that are fair and not about value extraction. This little snippet took place at the Texas Bitcoin conference in 2018. There is a difference between developers and uh, business guys. We don't look at the world the way you do. We don't look at it from a purely uh, value extraction perspective. Part of this, the, why we're doing this DEX is because we can. Right? We are just going to do this to blow up the exchanges as they exist today because we don't like the way it works. The DEX is expected to launch sometime in mid-2020, so be on the lookout for that. The Street, co-founded by Jim Cramer, released an article about how Decred is gaining traction in Africa thanks to its focus on a fair and inclusive governance structure. The unique governance aspects of Decred seem to be compelling within African and South American countries, with many of Decred's strongest contributors hailing from these regions. February 8th was the celebration of Decred's fourth birthday. Meetups were organized all over the world by community organizers. As far as research goes, Decred on-chain ticket funding rates was published by Permable Nino. The purpose of this piece was to establish tickets as an indicator for sentiment within the Decred network and evaluate how this sentiment reflects itself in price action over time. This research is still ongoing. Another research article titled Decred the Resilient Stronghold was published by Checkmate. This paper analyzes Decred through a number of metrics and it ends with a summary stating, the Decred network continues to display an impressive resiliency to adverse marking conditions. This is a credit to the strong hand and commitment of all participants in elegant design of hybrid proof of work, proof of stake consensus, and the treasury funding mechanism. The dedication of stakeholders, miners, and contractors is evident in the aggregate network behavior on chain. The Decred decision-making process is clearly one of long-term, conservative, and well-considered thinking with remarkable output and future potential as a result. These pieces are fairly technical but always extremely insightful and worth working through. Chris Burnus brought us back to an epic placeholder post this week. While Bitcoin today has an advantage in terms of scale across the supply, demand, and investor side of the equation, Decred is better set up for a long-term sovereignty thanks to its decentralized governance principles. Very wise words. The exchange KuCoin announced a Decred soft staking program on their platform. KuCoin is the first exchange to allow users to receive staking rewards for holding their coins on KuCoin's platform. Hopefully more prominent exchanges will take notice of this and add their own staking features for DCR, though it should be noted, not your keys, not your coins. It's not recommended you store your Decred on a centralized exchange. Steve Good added DCR as a payment option for his book, Be Left Behind, Discover Bitcoin and Cryptocurrency Before Your Grandma Beats You To It. Steve mentioned he's going to dig into Decred next. Two Decred In Depth podcast episodes were released, the first one featuring Decred researcher Amar Nasir talking about Decred as an infrastructure provider, productive asset, and economic breakthrough. The thing that I really like about Decred is rather than the traditional approach for cryptocurrencies, which is, you know, it's I call it the the huddle and hope strategy, which is you hot you huddle and hope that you know the rest of the world burns down. Decred is actually looking at building a better house and saying, you know, we're going to build a network and we're going to use DCR as a currency from inside the network. We're going to pay our contractors in this particular currency. We're going to try to create all economic value and we're going to all types of economic coordination based around this currency. Uh, we're going to build a an exchange so that other cryptocurrencies can easily easily be directly compatible with this cryptocurrency of, of DCR. The second podcast featured Mexico community manager Elian talking about Decred in Latin America. But at the end of the day, yeah, we're seeing that there are there are cases of need that are completely different from those uh, sort of a use case that you would find in the US or, or in Europe. Um, the other day I saw this phrase that adoption, adoption will come either for greed or need. Being in Argentina and realizing how, um, well, I mean, just just this year, you know, in in April, I was in an event in in Argentina in April two thousand eighteen. One dollar was forty pesos. 
then in August it was 60 pesos, then by, by December it was 78 pesos. So you're actually seeing, I mean, people is actually looking for alternatives to, to what money, of, to how money is working there. A new podcast launched featuring Checkmate, Permable Nino, and Anshaw Black called Rough Consensus. It talks cryptocurrencies and gives us an all-rounded view on the crypto markets. This is why Decred just stands so far ahead of everything else I've seen in the alt space. Because good luck, 51% attacking Decred. Good luck. You are going to have to put in so, there's so much logistical effort to actually take that chain down, having to take out both proof of stake and proof of work. I mean, the security curve of it is just insane. Looking at Politea, we did have a number of proposals in the last few weeks. The content production for Decred and Russian proposal failed with only 21.4% yes votes out of 8,244 votes in total, which is a voter turnout of 20%. A proposal needs 60% yes votes in order to pass. This proposal sought to create video content in Russian for the Russian community. The Decred fundamental metrics research proposal phase two by Checkmate passed with 81% of voters voting yes. There was a total of 8,000 799 votes cast with a 21% voter turnout. This proposal requests a budget of $17,500 to continue Checkmate's research on fundamental metrics. Checkmate has indicated that he expects the budget for this proposal to last for eight months. Up for voting is the Decred Creative Economy Research and Education proposal by Oscar Gamboa, a freak from Mexico. This proposal, while seeking to do some sort of research regarding a creative economy, was deemed to be confusing and incoherent by the Decred community, with the highest voted comment saying, Politea is not a place to write essays or blog posts. This has been reflected in the initial voting for the proposal, which has been overwhelmingly negative. Decred Europe grassroots marketing and events proposal is currently up for discussion. This proposal seeks $49,000 to increase Decred's brand awareness in Europe by empowering various community managers to organize and attend events, as well as participate in various forms of digital marketing. This is part of an effort to further decentralize Decred's marketing efforts. The author Heian argues Decred is home to some of the most forward-thinking crypto communities in the world and that European citizens usually have more disposable income than people in South America or Africa, which makes Europe an attractive place to market DCR. Kathy Wood of ARK Invest said the following on January 28th at the State of Digital Assets keynote. If we're right that there will only be a few cryptocurrencies, you'll find uh, Bitcoin dominating um, and in terms of who the others are going to be, you know, we're, we're studying that. Yassine's studying it a lot more than I am, but uh, he can, and he can talk to you a lot more about this. But Decred is promising, so, you know, we're, we're looking carefully at that. To hear an investor say there will only be a few cryptocurrencies and that Decred looks promising to be among those few is very exciting news. Slack will be debridged at the end of the month, so it is recommended users join the community on Matrix at chat.decred.org or by joining us on Discord. And last but not least, voting for the block header commitments has passed. This change increases the security and efficiency of lightweight clients, as well as adds infrastructure to enable future scalability enhancements. These new consensus rules will be activated in about two weeks time. This is just another example of decentralized governance where stakeholders are able to make changes in a clear, fair, and timely manner. I hope everyone enjoyed this first bi-weekly news update. Make sure to subscribe for future episodes and comment what was your favorite piece of news. Thanks for watching and keep staking.